Hey everybody, it's Keymaster84 coming at you guys with Mirror Isle Episode 2. Um, putting this up today, you guys should be seeing the blog. If you guys are coming over from the blog, good job on listening to what I told you to do. If you guys haven't gone over there, go over there and watch it. Um, yeah, just coming at you guys, uh, bring you Episode 2. i uh, about to jump into it. I uh, just wanted to come talk to you guys for a second. It was easier to do this little intro here, so let's get into it. I uh, got Mirror Isle, so... If you guys ever want to see uh, this world, let me know. Um, it's my daughter's world, and she does crazy, crazy, crazy things. Well, let's get into it. So, I, we uh, a little bit of work off off cam, um, like we usually do. Twenty minutes. As you see, I'm clearing the trees. It's pretty much all I've been doing. Um, I expanded this a little bit during the night. This last time, uh, we caught a couple chickens. Close that before they get out of here. So let's see here. Ah, oh, I went through. Dang it. Dang it. Uh, we got some more wheat. If you guys are wondering why there are these aren't here, um, it's because those are the you guys have ever played sometimes you'll get those blocks where like the the stuff won't stay in that's what those are and I hate when that happens and I hate trying to remember what's going on so I just don't put anything there I get rid of them um <laughs> fun of the best way to do it but it works for me so I just go I just go with it um yeah so that's what we're doing here guys just trying to what I want to do is I want to get all these trees uh, gone. I don't want, I don't want, I don't want these trees laid out the way that they are. Um, we're going to be doing a little bit of terraforming eventually um, on all this just to get it the way I want it. Um, oh, freaking A. One stupid. Okay, now it should come down. Alright. <clears throat> yeah, no, it's just not the way that I would do it. Uh, as far as laying them out, laying out the trees go, um, and so uh, I want to get rid of them, and then uh, we're probably going to sacrifice some of the animals on the island um, because, well, they're not the right ones. I know that sounds terrible to say, but they're not. I, I really don't need sheep, um, and like pigs will be nice if I can get carrots, but. Uh, that probably isn't gonna happen uh, unless a zombie drops a carrot. So I'm not too, I'm not too keen on keeping any kind of uh, pigs laying around because they're just gonna suck up. Because you're only allowed so many peaceful mobs per per square, uh, so it's easier just to to cut them out uh, early, early in the process. So, but oh, see, that, see, see, guys. Ask, ask, and you shall receive, people. Oh uh, crap! Um, I wasn't anticipating getting this guy this early. Uh, uh, shoot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, so we have a cow. Sweet. Um, all right. So let's uh, take care of this situation real quick. Uh, all right. <coughs> That I'll take that. I'll take one of those. That's all we need. This will slow down my tree, my tree situation here for a second, but that's fine. I'm more than glad to take care of this situation. Oh, we need some food. As you can see, I've already sacrificed a couple of the pigs. They had to go. They're taking up room. Let's see. Um, okay. So we'll put the door. We'll actually put the door on this side. Um, it'll make sense here in a minute, you guys. So let's see here. I need to get my way. And I already messed up a little bit, but it's fine, we can fix it. Oh man. Of course it's getting nighttime too. God. 
So inconvenient, cow. It's an inconvenient cow right now. Why do you have to spawn now? <clears throat> Seriously? Snakies. Okay, well. Cow watch had to stay alive on his own. A lot of mobs pop up in the middle of the night, so we can't be out here. He'll just have to stay alive. We'll have to retrieve him in the morning. Um, it is what it is. Clean a lot of that back up. Crops are doing good. Look at that, look at these eggs. You know what, we're gonna put them in there. Let's see what we can't do with those later here, so... Wheat. The wheat. Oh, we got a couple more seeds. Plant those real quick. God dang it. See, they just bug me. They have to go. I don't care how inconvenient it seems. I might have to farm these out. Like I really care less. <coughs> so. But anyways, guys. So yeah, uh, mesh plan today is now to get that cow safe and sound. Um, found this. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do here yet because it kind of got in the way of my tunnel. What I'm thinking about doing is maybe going like right here. You know, we'll just, we'll just do it right now. All right, or we won't do that. Bad guys. Bad guys. Holy, holy creeper haven. All right, so that's not gonna work. <laughs> just block that back up. Um. Crud. I really don't know what to do right now. Um, let's go back, we'll grab some more cobble. We'll build a bridge across uh, for now. Not the most desirable of plans, but you know, you gotta you gotta be willing to uh, take what the game's giving you sometimes. And when when the game's giving you this kind of business, you guess have to you have to roll with the punches. Uh, so we will go up a little bit. It's not to interfere with the, the water there. It's just easier for us in the long run. What we'll do is we'll do something like this though. So that way you can't fall off, but you can still see what's going on. So I'm sure later I'll be like, what is going on here? Why did I do that? <laughs> but now we know. So, let's continue. Just cut through here. And then, so since that's there and that's there, we'll do this. I'll light that up a little bit. Okay. Probably the same thing that Big Row found um, in his game. If not the same thing, then scarily similar. Um, but yeah, I think we both, for our first episodes, definitely made some good progress. Um, but we'll see what happens. Um, lots of lots of game left uh, for things to go wrong. So no big deal. Uh, let's see here. I fucked that up because I was not looking. All right, there we go. Man, we're already we're already a third of the way through this episode. Um, all right, cause that's gonna bug me. Okay, there we go. Um, just so you guys know, I did take a 10 minutes beforehand, uh, just to get some stuff done. Um, stuff that I thought was going to be boring, but I mean, actually some interesting things happened, like the chickens, um, uh, getting, the, getting the chickens to come up, um, eggs, especially, uh, it helps. Um, and then getting the farm a little more spruced up. And we'll take a, oh man. Ooh, with the cave system under here. <coughs> with the cave system under here. 
so darn extreme too. Uh, probably won't even, not gonna even bother with those. Waste of resources. Um. But yeah, so we're going right now. Uh, probably do this a few more seconds, then we're gonna head back up to the top. Um, make sure it's stay, get that cow nice and secure. See if hopefully another one, man. If another one popped out, dude, whew, we're gonna be we're gonna be sitting pretty. Um, oh my god, another cave? Are you kidding me right now? We're just gonna stop right there, you guys, for now. Man, for real. All right, Let's put that there. So hopefully I remember what's going on. Um, Get the stairs built. <sighs> Every time. I always screw up one stair. There we go. There we go. There. And back up to the top. Should be plenty of time. We'll let the wheat grow for a little bit more. Um, oh, 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 oh. daytime by now. That sucks. I guess we'll farm a little bit while we're here. Might as well. Yeah, some of these are too deep, so eventually we'll go back and fix all of this. Actually, you know what? Let's just do it right now. Easier. these seeds. Actually, we'll just do the whole thing real quick. Start from the back, work our way to the front. So, we're going to go back down to the mine for a minute. Um, scope her out and see what's going on. Um, let's see what's going on down there. I'm um, really hoping daylight like, happens soon. I really want to take care of that cow. Uh, but yeah, so anyways guys, so enough of me chatting about what's going on in the game. Most of you guys who have played Minecraft know what's going on. And I've explained it well enough already too. Um, but yeah, so uh, welcome to my I'm sorry we kind of got off track there in the very beginning. Things were happening fast. Rapid pace and the cow is a pretty big come up in a Lonely Island series. So that's always worth uh, skirting what you were going to talk about for a cow. I know it sounds silly, but... For those of you guys who have played in a uh, Lonely Island series before, you guys understand my pain. Because <laughs> half the time, that that kind of a that kind of progress doesn't happen usually for a long time. So let's see here. We'll make that. And we'll do that. And then what we're gonna do is something. Most people don't do. And we're gonna wall off this whole situation. Well, we'll leave that there and that there. But what we're gonna do is right here, we'll do one of those right here, we'll do one of those. And then what we're gonna do is just continue down. And what we're gonna do, we'll put that there, put that there. So that way I know in the future what's going on. Uh, so we're at 32, trying to get down to 10. Or 10, 12, I don't know. I'll figure it out before we get down that far. Um, but yeah, we're trying to get down far enough. Uh, get down to diamond level. Uh, you find a lot of your minerals there. God dang it. With the tunnels, Batman.
Next level maneuver here. So it's no big deal. Yeah, I keep on going. <clears throat> See, just no distractions, you guys. Just back to it. Small interruption. No big deal. Hey guys, I'm gonna come talk to you back. Uh, sorry for the quick change in pace. I wanna make sure I get this in before the video is over. We only have fifth. So, oh, we only have 14 minutes left to talk about it. Hopefully, I get enough out here so you guys know where I'm coming from. Um, as you guys know, yeah, since you guys watch this channel, obviously, um, I am really big into esports. I know, shocker, shocker. Um, and it's so over the past few days, I've been hearing a lot about uh, the Call of Duty World League and kind of where where they're at. Um, I've been reading a lot of articles about it. Uh, the good, the bad, and the ugly, and um, uh, it's interesting. It's definitely an interesting situation that Activision finds themselves. I mean, probably kind of the first time where Activision uh, isn't necessarily uh, the best at doing what they're doing, I guess. Um, Activision's usually very methodical, uh, planned well, extremely well. Um, yeah, everything is very the company that large everything is very managed micromanaged and then micromanaged again um so it's kind of shocking to see them kind of been a you know predicament with the uh, pro scene um a lot of people were shocked when they because they have announced that uh season one uh is going to be 1.6 million um a lot of people figured and with no crowdfunding as well sorry should have mentioned that. Um, a lot of people assume that there would be crowdfunding because of what Halo did, um, and Halo being a quote-unquote dead game, or a uh, and if it was, if people didn't call it a dead game, they would be calling it a uh, game that's been in hiatus for a long time, as far as competitive goes. Um, dude, seriously, another tunnel, another freaking tunnel right now. I don't have the time or the patience to deal with this right now. Um, anyway, sorry guys. It's frustrating. I had a goal. And these tunnels are not helping me accomplish it at all. Um, but yeah, a lot of people assumed after Halo being a quote-unquote game that's been kind of uh, on the back burner as far as competitive goes the last few years. Um, and they managed to pull off what they pulled off with their two with their two million dollar tournament. Um, a lot of people were like, "Oh, psh, Activision will be able to do that, no problem." And then some, more than likely. And uh, then it came out, and they didn't. Uh, so a lot of people are are kind of upset about it. Um, but what I want to do today is just kind of we're going to talk about it, we're going to examine it, and. Uh, come to Activision's defense a little bit, not that they need it from me or anybody like me, I mean, obviously they know what they're doing, um, me saying something about it's not going to change anything, but I just want to give my two cents, because that's what YouTube is all about, two cents, um, but now I mean, part of me agrees with people when when they're a little disappointed in Activision because they should have maybe stepped it up uh, the dollar which I mean if you think about it they did step it up a little bit um, not a ton uh, but I am shocked to see that they didn't at least try to get two million um, but at the same time I mean if you look at how uh, the transition from Microsoft has been handled. Um, I, th I, f I feel like we should have seen. I don't know if you guys have not heard that before. That is Mr. Train. 
uh, one of many that like to drive by during my videos. Um, I literally live right across the street from train tracks. Um, it is what it is. People ask me all the time, like, man, you think you could, you know, that's crazy. There's no way I could do it. Yeah, you'd be surprised. After the first few weeks, you don't even notice it anymore, really. Um, <laughs> there we go. That's where I want to be. All right. Um, what? Oh, black. Stairs. Stairs. Okay. Um, but I think we should have seen the writing on the wall in the very beginning. Um, back when uh, PlayStation got the exclusive over Microsoft, the one month exclusive, to get all the DLC and everything um, before Xbox. Um, because I remember thinking at the time, I was kind of shocked because I was like, huh, really? Um, no, it doesn't. To me, it, it didn't make a ton of sense at the time because it was kind of like, you guys have, you know, Microsoft, who's, you know, they have other games they could be pimping out and, and they're deciding not to. Um, you know, it seems kind of odd that you wouldn't take advantage of, of Microsoft's ability to put things on like this. Um, Maybe it's just me being naive or crazy. I don't know. I'm sure. I'm sure PlayStation had to pay a pretty penny uh, to get the exclusive away. But on the flip side, for me, um, I'm a huge Xbox guy. Everybody knows that. Who's watched the channel? Um, I'm big on Xbox, and I feel like it's because when it comes to esports, especially lately, uh, they are, they have definitely shown that they do not. They did not hold back from uh, supporting it, so which is good. I mean, that's what we all want. For everybody who likes esports, that's what we all want. Uh, we want the publishers like a Microsoft and a, and a, and a PlayStation uh, to support the uh, the uh, esports scene if you want to continue to grow. Um, good lord, we're already at twenty. 22 and a half, man. We're going to have to end this episode soon. Hopefully we can get this cow situated before then. At least, hopefully, I hope there's more than one. Um, but, hey, cow. Hey, buddy. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, you missed. Come on back. Come on back. Yeah, there. Oh, 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 oh. No, he wants to. Hold on. Lock this out real quick. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Alright. Hopefully we can figure out on the next one how to get beyond that. Anyways. Um, and, 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 you know, I understand, you know, making money is making money. And that's that's what the companies are there for. I mean, that's why PlayStation wanted the exclusive, was to make money. Um, being the first to have, because they realized, oh, you know, people people buy Xboxes just to play Call of Duty. People buy, so they're like, oh, people buy my Xboxes just for Call of Duty because that's when you get the DLC first. Then, well, we'll, we'll pay a lot of money for the exclusive. You know, we want to win. We want to sell as many consoles as possible. Um, which, you know, I mean, that is the business model. It's always been the business model. So, you know, sell the most consoles possible. Um, but something that has gone awry in, in, in this money grab um, has been the, uh, the problem of too much Bluetooth. I don't think anybody ever really saw that coming, um, mainly because, I mean, Bluetooth is a fairly new... It's a fairly new technology. Uh, we want to cover this up. I already know what's going to happen. I'm not going to be paying attention one time. It's going to be late. I'm going to be tired. And I'm not going to see this big ass hole. And I want to fall through it. But not anymore. Okay. So, that being said, let's check it here. Because we got to check ourselves. Make sure we're not missing out. And any cows. Um, 
Oh, let's see, Beatrice's house, right here. That's what we'll call her. Uh, the apples. Man, the apple gods are angry. The apple gods are angry this episode, which sucks. And my son's talking in his sleep, so that's cool. Uh, oh, it's here. It's right already? God, I feel like I just got up here. Alright, jump this down real quick. Okay, I gotta go. Bad guys are coming. We gotta go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Your own. Oop. <laughs> Bonehead. Um. But no, I, I feel like the Call of Duty pro scene suffers in a lot of respects. Um, I feel like they don't get the respect they deserve from other uh, games. I mean, like League of Legends players and, and Dota. I mean, and I think part of that is because of the prize pool. Um, I think if Call of Duty had a bigger prize pool, I mean, it would attract more people. Um, like, literally right before I came on to do this, I was watching uh, the... 19, wow. I was watching the... Um, Arctic Gaming Podcast for this week. And uh, they had... Uh, Seth Abner was on there. Uh, team captain for Optic Gaming uh, Call of Duty team. And he was talking about how right now he would rather go play Halo than, than play Call of Duty. I mean, and this guy is a true and true diehard Call of Duty player. I mean, that's, this is, that's where he makes his money. And he's saying that? That's a pretty big deal. In my opinion, that's a huge deal um, for him to be saying that. I mean, you're talking... You're talking to a dude who probably plays, you know, eight, ten hours a day, and and he's talking like he's done with your game. I mean, that's that's not where you want to be. Um, yeah, and I, he could just be trying to get a reaction. I don't know. I mean, I'm not him. I'm not, I can't, I can't, I can't say. I don't know him personally. It's not like, it's not like he called me before. Uh, you know, before he went on there, I don't know what his, you know, his thoughts are completely. I just know that's what he said in the podcast. Um, you know, it's a big deal. I mean, you're talking about one of the guys who is at the best, playing for the best team right now um, in the game, and he's saying that he would rather go play your, com your basically your competitor's game. I mean, right now. I mean, would I have said that Halo was going to compete with Call of Duty this year, um, back before both games came out? No. No, I can, I can, I can, I can say that without a doubt in my mind that I did not think that was going to happen. Um, but it has. Uh, they really stepped up their game. So, um, yeah, it is what it is. But so, yeah, I mean. We'll see what ends up happening. I'm sure this will turn into a bro topic because I'm sure Big Rose probably got it. Uh, something he wants to say about it. Um, I just want to mix it up with some conversations and me talking about how I'm mining this coal. Um, I just want to mix it up with a conversation, get a conversation started, you guys. Uh, so let me know what your guys' opinions on uh, Call of Duty World League are. Um, what your opinions are on the fact that there are other competing games. Um, that have a bigger prize pool, mainly from the help of crowdfunding. Um, but just let me know what you guys think uh, down in the comments below um, about that um, and about anything about the episode. If you think I missed something, if you think I should be doing something differently, um, let me know. But guys, with that being said, let's run back up here to the top. Let's go some things out, see what's going on, and let's see here. Travel through my dungeon of craziness. And okay. We're back. Alright guys. So we're making progress, we're looking good. We got a door, that skeleton right there. Uh got a decent farm going on. I really want to help improve it. 
in the next few episodes. I want to get more though. But I want to get one, one, one more row. And I'm probably going to move it. So instead of going vert like this way, it's going to go horizontal from here. Um, but yeah, besides that, guys, that's been the key master 34. And remember, guys, as always, we play games to make games. And haters are going to hate. And we'll see y'all next time.